everyone, this is Eric. I'm going to be talking about a website that seems to be bandied about a lot by different affiliate marketers as a way to make extra money. Well, I'm here to tell you it is absolutely true. You can make a little extra money on userinterviews.com. I'm conservatively saying you can make anywhere from a few hundred dollars up to about a thousand dollars or fifteen hundred dollars if you really have the skill set and you really put your nose to the grindstone you are definitely not going to be replacing a full-time income with userinterviews.com but you definitely could make enough money for a car payment or something of that nature so I'm going to go ahead and get started. I am a user interview participant. I've been doing this since May, and I have easily made anywhere from $500 when I first started per month to over $1,200 just through the user interview sites. There's a couple others out there that are very similar in nature. One is Userlytics, and the other one is called Respondent. But today we're gonna to be focusing on user interviews. Let's do a little bit of a deeper dive, which is not what most of the affiliate marketers focus on. They just focus on, look, you can make $200 an hour, you can make $300 an hour. I'm gonna tell you the absolute truth because I actually use this product and I've actually been paid by them not just once but dozens of times okay so we're going to start off on the userinterviews.com website now i'm going to put a link in the notes here and so you're going to go to userinterview.com slash hello which is where most people start and then what you're going to do is you're going to sign up on user interviews you're going to go ahead and hit sign up to participate and get paid these are mostly i'm going to click off for a second one-on-one -on -one interviews meaning these are one-on-one -on -one zoom calls so you are actually having a conversation with a researcher about a very specific topic and these can be anywhere from 15 minutes to up to two hours, sometimes even more. The longest one I did was two hours. Two hours is a long time to be talking to one person about a very specific subject. And if you are the participant, you are expected to talk anywhere from 75% to up to 90% of the time. So think about that in a process of a two hour interview, you're going to be talking at least an hour and a half out of that time with a level of expertise on the topic that they're reviewing you about. Okay, so there's different types of interviews. I'm going to skip the study format. I'm going to focus on one-on-one -on -one interviews. Those are our Zoom calls. Focus groups, also a Zoom-oriented call, but it could be anywhere between two to six different people. So on a one-hour interview, you might only be talking for, at the most, five or ten minutes. Multi-day studies, I recently did one of those through Procter & Gamble, and that was a toothpaste study. Took me maybe about two hours of my time over the period of about a month. I got paid $175 for that. They actually have a part two to that. I don't really know what it is. They ship you products, you try them, you go on the website, and you review them as to whether it worked correctly, how much it foamed, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Unmoderated task is where most of our beginners should start because they give you a time limit. Usually it's anywhere between two days to a week and you work a different task, meaning you're answering questions. Sometimes you are actually talking to the camera, answering questions. It depends on the type of study that it is. But unmoderated tasks are easy ways for you to get positive feedback. Positive feedback is very important. The more positive feedbacks you have, the more you will qualify for studies. So unmoderated tasks and some of the easier one-on-one -on -one interviews are where a beginner should start because you want to get those positive reviews going. Now, I'm gonna go down the list. I'm not gonna just focus on the dollar amount. And 
I have my study set to newest. I want to see the newest study. So I have team building. We have an IT related one, which is my specialty. Healthcare online, immunizations, participate in a healthcare study. That is very generic. And a lot of times a person could qualify for that. Uh, again, another technology related study. If Are you a person living with MS? Now, 90 minutes for one hour in 15 minutes. That's a, a fair amount. But again, are you living with MS? That is a very specific ask. Okay, I'm going to show you a little trick. So once you get to the bottom of your list, and again, these tie into how you answer the initial questionnaire. So what you need to do is you need to hit this view referral opportunities. And what it does is it throws you to a second page, but it takes you to the bottom of the page. So we're going to scroll all the way back up to the top. And again, I have mine set on newest. So we have a work tool study, uh, testing cate categorization for an insurance company. Again, more IT related healthcare. Healthcare is a very popular subject. Again, more IT related subjects, healthcare, again, software, again, more IT, more IT. A lot of times you will find specific things that are healthcare oriented, legal, small business owners, people who own a small business, or they even run a, their own shop. A lot of times they're asked tax questions. Again, if you are prompted after you answer the questionnaire to join this study, it is very important that A, once they send you an invite and they ask you to fill out a specific time, it's important that you do that in a timely manner. So I would not only have your emails, but have your SMS message option available on your phone so that when you do get an invite, you get a text message, you can click on the link that's provided, and then you can pick a specific day and time. Now, a lot of times, if you wait an hour after you get that invite or an hour and a half and you click on it, a lot of times it will say, sorry, all the spots have been filled. So it is very important that once you do the questionnaire and then it goes to the researchers and then you are chosen and it sends you an email as well as a text message, to sign up for a specific time. It's important that you do that in a timely manner because otherwise you will not get a spot. Now, you cannot get paid unless you actually do the interview. I think what a lot of people, when they yell user interviews is nothing but a scam, I think they're saying that because you have to go through a pre-questionnaire. Let's just choose one. Let's personalize the site for your audience. $75 for 45 minutes. This is a Zoom call. It is online. So I'm going to click on that. And it's going to tell you what they are going to be looking for. And again, computer with a webcam. You cannot use a smartphone. You cannot use a tablet. They will even specifically ask you not to be in a coffee shop, to be in a quiet environment, these are really essential for you to be getting positive reviews on user interviews. Positive reviews for you will give you more opportunities down the line. So just think of it like a feedback system like we have on eBay where you can review a seller. They are reviewing you as a participant. One of the biggest things that I have noticed is that, say this particular study is 45 minutes. Well, say once you get to your end of, say I, I set a time for 7 o'clock. And then so I know it's 45 minutes, so we'll be done at 7.45. If you get to the end of that 45 minutes and they still have questions available, always say, hey, if you need another five minutes, feel free to go over time. Ask me the questions you need because I know it's important for me to be as thorough as possible. Now, they're not going to pay you extra for that five minutes, but as a courtesy, you do it for the researchers because sometimes you get stuck on one particular question, they ask you more details, and they get a little bit behind on their questions. And so give them an extra five minutes, 
and that will in turn almost always give you a positive review. And so we're going to apply to participate. And it's going to ask you your name, your job title, what department you work in. I'm not going to fill these out because that will give me a little bit too much information about me. Okay, I'm going to get down to the important part. How long have you been working in the Salesforce ecosystem? This is a very specific question. Now, if you are familiar with the Salesforce CRM software, then this is a question that you would answer. Now, a lot of times it will ask you if you are an administrator or an end user, and then you would check the boxes and answer accordingly. Now, sometimes it will ask you your specific age, your gender, your ethnicity these are all different things that some of the studies require in order to more closely match your studies now i see i'm already 11 minutes so i'm going to go real quickly because i have a 15 minute timer on this recording so as opposed to some of the other people who are just clicking around saying 500 dollars for an hour 300 dollars for an hour i'm going to actually show you that these are studies that i've completed uh, so I had, I did one recently. It was eighty dollars for twenty minutes. A healthcare kit fifty dollars for thirty minutes. Uh, you know, and then you have the simple ones. This one was through Yelp and love discovering restaurants fifteen dollars for fifteen minutes. Curiosity as to what the different types of studies are also is helpful because a lot of times these are very fun. Um, here's one that was very specific. It was a database security questionnaire slash interview. One hour, $160 I made. And I think the most I ever made was $375 for two hours. And But a lot of mine are kind of in that $75 to $125 range. And so these are all studies that I've been paid for. Uh, I have six pages of them that go all the way back to May. Um, this one was with a major company. Uh, it was a website that I went to that they put me on. And it was a card sorting exercise as to best make their help section more easy for end users. And again, there's some that I just like because do you support social causes? This particular one, I just... Even though it was $30 for an hour, that was very interesting to me to have this conversation with a person who is very socially tuned in to different social causes in the United States. And so I had an hour conversation with them and I got paid $30 for it, but it was something that I was very curious about. A lot of times you will have commercial feedback or advertising feedback and some of these are tied into if you have a smartwatch. I use an iPhone as well as an iWatch. And so those, like the smartwatch study, it was $15 for 20 minutes. It was me watching an ad and then them using my watch to judge how engaged I was for the ad that they were showing me. It was actually quite an interesting study. So I'm going to click off real quick. I'm going to come back with two or three of these in the weeks to come. But user interviews is not a scam. You have to qualify for a particular study, which means you have to have experience. And then in addition to that, you just need to be patient because studies come slowly at first. But then once you start getting a lot of positive reviews, you can get more and more. User Interviews does pay via gift card. The site that they use gives you 100 different gift cards to choose from. But you about 80% of the studies are that way. About 10% will give you an Amazon gift card. And about 10% will pay you via a virtual Visa card. All of these are legitimate ways to earn extra money. The gift cards that I use, I will either use Target or Amazon, or I have one that is Safeway, which is my grocery store uh, in the area that's also tied into Albertsons and Bonds and things of that nature. So it's just as good as money. So once again, this is Eric, user interviews, 
Hope this gave you a little more information and I will have more to come in the weeks 